What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for episode 11 of the crew cast. Amazingly, I wanted to do this a long time ago. Get a crew cast going, get all my boys on here, and just have dope-ass conversations. And it's wild to me that I've been able to consistently get at least one person on here. But it's also wildly inconsistent the amount of friends in the crew don't want to be in the crew cast. However, we got fucking not even the OG3. Shouts out to Colton's grandma, though. It was her birthday yeah, it's today. it's her birthday today. Shouts out to Colton's grandma. Happy birthday. But we got Fitz in the building. You always can rely on Fitz. Oh, yeah. And you know what's cool about this, too, is that Fitz is here for number 11. Number 11, yeah. Of the pod. So guess Just what? Fitz. It was it's... this... This was planned, was you know, I didn't be. even I didn't even freaking invite anybody else. It was meant to be for Fitz. I mean, wearing his hoodie, you know, that I got. The bird gang, yeah. yeah. Looking fucking sexy. It is clean. Love this. This is one of my favorites. Dude, it's a I, custom hoodie that I got offline. It was pretty dope. I can never get these crew casts monetized because I just, when I get into conversation, I'm not thinking. I say so many fucks. Yeah, like I, just so say I, I just say Sometimes. I just say fuck so much. I just say some stuff, you know. Dude, but I don't even care. I love doing these. It's that, just fun. That's just like having all out conversations, and more and more of you are watching them, which I appreciate. We like to fucking sit down and have and these conversations. Yeah, with y'all. I feel like I feel like they're in the conversation with us. Uh huh. Just kicking back. But anyway, Fitz, fucking a, your fans, they might be able to freaking. Hop off a of Treep Talks, unsubscribe, and subscribe to you. I'm not saying I'm, just, I'm not saying just unsubscribe. I'm like, keep subscribing. But dude, if you had, you might have some diehards out there that are gonna be but like, too, Fitz is making a channel. Yeah, but I'm definitely thinking about doing it recently. Just buying some equipment, and getting some like a mic and a cam and stuff, and just go on live for like Cardinal stuff because the season's about to start. And I'm gonna do some Cardinal stuff, and then maybe some like Mad Mobile and Madden Twenty and. Just kind of that niche for a little while, and then maybe we'll go on to doing some other like online games too, like GTA and stuff. Dude, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is some Gary Vaynerchuk type shit. He always says, if you're fucking living at your parents' house and you like and you're working, you're sitting on some money, dude. Fucking invest in what makes you happy, yeah, and dude. then you fucking have time. You ain't you're uh -huh. you're gonna be making those videos. You're gonna be getting the equipment, and then everybody's gonna be like. Tree, you're sitting here with fucking 1.1k subscribers with a snowball microphone and a webcam, and Fitz is sitting here with five subscribers with a goddamn Nikon camera, yeah. fucking MacBook Pro, on just you going, YouTube, going my, hard on my them. My thing hosts. is Fitz Frenzy. Fitz Frenzy, yeah, subscribe. I think it's Fitz Frenzy 11. I don't know for sure. Well, we'll find it. We'll, we'll figure it, it out. We'll, we'll put figure it out. In. We'll put the link on there. We'll put the link in the description yeah. for sure. Yep, yep, yep. But I mean, fucking A, I'm probably going to have to help you, like, edit some shit. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, like, on top of that, Lola, like, like I got to have the perfect backdrop of my room. Yeah, that's true. Because I just have my room painted. Well, I mean, for the car we already freaking discussed this, but, I mean, my Jags room's no more. Yeah, I know, because your mom made it look crazy. Made it made it, it a fucking weird. cheese shed. Yeah, it looks weird. It's yeah. way different. It's it's not it's not preferred. The room no. felt way more natural with the Jags. It did. Jags yeah. painting on it with the quarterbacks of shame wall. Did not a single good quarterback rested no. on that wall. Mark Brunel, I mean, David right. Garrard too. I mean, oh well, David Garrard wasn't up there. I don't think. Yeah. You have Blaine. I had Blaine. Yeah, I you don't had have Blaine a... up there, and then you had Brunel. I had up there. I had a Garrard up there. That's tragic. He was pretty good for you for a little while. Dude, I know. He, he was, was a little bit He clutch, was supposed you know? to be. Dude, I'm so excited to watch fucking Nick Foles play. Let me tell you. Oh, I don't know. Like, Let I'm me just, tell you. Like, okay, so, like, honestly, like, we been, we got our butt kicked by the Raiders, like, our first team offense. They yeah, Nathan Peterman tore you guys up. Uh, they had all had like a perfect passer rating. Yeah, yeah, they went like twenty for twenty five. Yeah, combined. dude, our top two quarterbacks are done for like for the first six weeks. That is unfortunate. Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to blitz and stuff. It's just gonna be ridiculous. It's just gonna be one hell of a task at yeah, that point. But that's what I'm saying. They said they're holding themselves back, our offense, because they don't want to show people. Well, yeah, that's kind of people what we're what doing do in preseason or whatever. Well, no, like with ours, because nobody knows what we're doing yet. I guess. Yeah. So, like, I guess we're holding ourselves back. 
of what we're actually supposed to be doing in the regular season. Well, dude, I'm freaking... I, I th- we haven't shown anything because we haven't played anybody. True. And that's why I'm so excited for this week because I get to fuck around, we're going, we're, sit down. We're facing the Vikings. Dude, week, I guarantee dude. you, like we're right now, if I could bet in Vegas, I'd say first or second play, Nick Foles is just going to uncork a fucking deep bomb, dude. To who? To, to fucking Chris Conley or Ooh. fucking D.D. Westbrook. Chris Conley. Dude, mm. you sleep. You're asleep. Uh, you're asleep. Uh, yeah, you're asleep. You're asleep. He's bad. No, he, you are he's asleep. Not what? Not even. You're not even gonna say the man's good. No, because like I feel like it was Patrick Mahomes. Dude, Nick Foles can get the ball no. to him. What's so bad about Nick Foles? What about Nick Foles' Nick game? Nick Foles has not performed anywhere else but Philadelphia. But and these that's are just a common fact. That's the team, but we built it like more similar, like to. Cater to Nick Foles. Like yeah, we changed our whole stuff. entire offense. We got John Day Phil Lupo. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the one I was. Uh, why is it? Yeah, Doug Peterson. Doug yeah. Peterson's the head coach. I met John Del Filippo. Yeah, I mean that's good. Yeah, we we have like an offense catered, and then like he keeps saying the offense is gonna run through Leonard Fournette, but I'm like, dude, Nick Foles is just gonna fucking take this offense by the balls and just run it. Yeah, dude, this is. I mean, I honestly think this could like. You're going to know some Jags receivers by the end of this year. I guarantee I you. hope that our receivers are good. Hakeem Butler's going on the IR. I can't believe you guys drafted Hakeem Butler and, like, Andy Isabella. You drafted, and like... And Keyshawn Johnson, our sixth-round rookie. Yeah. He's going to be... No, he's, like, a fifth-round rookie, I think. And he's going to be uh, the big guy. He's going to be the big guy who's getting most of the catches for third. He's, like, third, third on the team right now. Andy Isabella's, like, fourth. He's going to play, like, outside, just try to deep threat. Dude, I mean, there's like, you know, DJ Shark. Yeah. That guy. That guy's going to be a difference maker. For you guys? Dude, he's a tall yeah. motherfucker. We got so many people out there that are just tall and can just go get it, dude. Like, I don't know if Terrell Pryor is going to make the final back. roster. I don't think I don't think he'll make the final roster, to be honest. Who? Fucking Terrell Pryor. He might not. Because he got hurt during camp, so that was just, like, on him. We, we like, Kevin White got hurt with a hamstring issue, and we, we cut him. So we got 1.3 million cap space back for cutting Kevin White because he's trash. I can't, yeah, you guys got Kevin White. That was wild. I he forgot about that. He was literally trash. That was, like, a bad investment on your part. Well, no, it was just a tryout period. It wasn't, it was, none of the money was guaranteed to him. Yeah. So we just tried it, and it didn't work, and we got our money back. Yeah, that's just... So see you later. That's how the NFL has to work at yeah. this point. It's a fucking... It's a shame, dude. Like, people just... They go through it to get to the NFL. Like, that's yeah. such... Like, if you're a guy that's, like, a seventh-round draft pick, you know damn well you have an uphill Think climb. about A.B.'s, like, battle. He was behind, like, Kynes Ward and all those guys. Just Antonio straight Holmes, legends. And Plaxico Burris, all yeah. those people. Like, people that was just with... Steelers offense that were so ahead long. of him, yeah. yeah. And then Heath Miller was a big piece, you know. He, he, <laughs> you know who could ever fucking forget exactly, Heath Miller, dude. dude. That was like that was John a Poon, potent dude. fucking offense. Poon. Yeah, I don't know. I think that the Jags are gonna they're gonna pull something out of their ass this year. I'm I'm thinking like I think we're going 10 like six and, six and ten or seven and nine, and I'm okay with that. You're it's like great season. strides, great. Great building season. Making I don't strides. think I don't think you can fire Kingsbury on a seven and nine season. No, no, hell no. no, not for the Cardinals. No, absolutely not. I don't even think you fire him after a four and twelve year. I think you just try. To give I think him... you keep him if he goes like five and eleven or so. Yeah, I think five so and eleven too. like six and ten. Five and eleven to like a seven and nine range is fine. Well, it depends on how shit he actually is, though, or how good he actually is. Yeah, I want Miami... to actually see what this offense is because, like, if it's something good, then we're good. I think we'll be all right. Dude, head ass. Miami is literally going to be the worst team in the league next year. They're probably the worst team. Yeah, for real. Dude, because this upcoming they're, season? their freaking head coach is already a head case, bro. Yeah, dude. He's already playing, like, Jay-Z songs at Kenny Stills and just, yeah, not doing good. Well, we're going to take a break in the podcast. and we come back, we're going to have an extra member to cap off this podcast. So we're only nine minutes in, so for the whole basic back half, this guy's going to be on. Arturo, making his return. Ooh. Hasn't been on since episode three, but we are going to have him on. He's going to be on the phone. 
We're going to answer some questions, and we're going to continue probably having football conversations. We're going to talk about our fantasy football team. and we're Who's talk, better at Madden? Yeah, who's better at Madden, and we're going to talk about a whole lot more. Stay tuned. This is the CrewCast, episode 11. And we're back. Fitz, how you doing, brother? I'm doing really good. How are you, brother? <laughs> Every day on a crew cast oh, yeah. on Wednesday is feels a good, good time. Feels good. Love to be here. Love to be here. So, we have we have a new member in the podcast right now. All the way from motherfucking Oregon. Oregon. Our Tersh. What's up, dog? In the chat. From rainy Oregon. Dude, all the way in fucking Oregon. That's wild. How are things? Shitty weather. How are things in fucking Oregon, bud? Fucking shitty weather, bro. Oh, that's rainy. not good. Hard as fuck. I would rather it be rainy here than how fucking humid it is. Yeah, that's fair. It is hot. Portland, bunch of fucking protests in Portland getting violent. You know how it be. <laughs> dude, that's just Portland though. Portland always be wild and outright like that, dude. True. You ever have you gone to a protest yet? Fuck no, dude. I'm brown. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the because fucking protesting in Portland. I bet you there's people out there protesting Donald Trump's border wall. I'm sure. You, I'm sure they'd love to have you down there, bro. Yeah, go down there, be a fucking guest speaker. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> exactly. I don't even know if I can. I don't even know if I could say that on YouTube. But you know what? We're gonna roll with it. I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Is that even PG? I don't even know, dude. This video was already demonetized in the first like five minutes. Yeah, because you said fuck like the first five minutes. <laughs> and then, and then after that, you're fucking banned. Yeah, dude. They're gonna be like. This video is gonna be deleted for racist comments, and I'll be like, he, I was like, I wasn't even racist. I was yeah. joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one to report it too. Yeah, yeah Arturo's gonna Arturo. be the one to report it to the proper officials. All right, so we're gonna fucking talk some questions. Some fucking people asked us some questions, mostly the regulars. And we're going to talk about the new ultimate heel in the business and how Colton is no longer the fan favorite. Ooh. And, 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 you know, he's he, his question, too, is not going to it's not going to get any love on the channel. Is why are the Cardinals and the Jags both so bad? Fitz, can you answer that question? I don't think we are that bad. I mean, <laughs> the Jags have a good front four defense. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the Cardinals have had a lot of stuff happen this offseason where it's like there's so much going on that I could see us underperforming. But, I mean, if as long as we have more than three wins, like if we go higher on the win percentages, I think that's a building season. I think you just build off that. And then you build off whatever draft pick you get and hope that you, you get good. Everybody says that every year. Everybody be hyping their team up, dude. But I think the Jacks could be really good, honestly. Their secondary is kind of. So. Their secondary is weak, but their D line is good. Arturo, what do you think? Why are the Jags and Cardinals so bad? I mean, the Jags are just bad. I mean, <laughs> no question. I don't know, bro. Why are you guys so bad? I know why the Cardinals are bad, bro. Why are the Cardinals it's just bad? history, dude. They've been bad for like, what, 70 years? Yeah, that's a good one. It'd be a weird world if the Cardinals were fucking Super Bowl champs. Hey, we almost made it. Fuck off. I think that would end the world. Like that would, if the Cardinals won the Super Bowl, the world okay would, that. would end. I would be alright with that because I'd win the Super Bowl and I'd be happy. See, Arturo, you can already die happy. You had your. Yeah, what, you had what are you doing down there with that? Oh, just a piece of paper. Piece of paper oh, I'm making an airplane. Dude, you're fucking making a whole lot of ruckus. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> fucking heck, you're literally out here acting like you've never done a podcast before. I fans. have. I'm just fucking around. Think about it. Hey, bro. I've been a lucky fucking football fan. Seven years of fucking winning seasons. Well, yeah, you have that. And then your favorite NBA team just, just won the won, championship. Yeah. So you had, had it good. Hey, dude. I, I'm happy with Kawhi leaving because... 
I fucking my team won a ship. That's that's facts. I mean, if Nick Foles, dude, because that has to be the storyline this year. The Jags are winning the Super Bowl because it's gonna be like, can Nick Foles get two teams their first ever fucking Super Bowl? And then he's gonna go out there and he's gonna fucking do it. He's gonna do one for the AFC, one for the NFC, and just retire. And then fuck us for the next two to three years. <laughs> that's, that's what he'll do. We're playing Jammer. We'll be back. At the, yeah, then Blake. The and then, you know, the guy that asked that question will be hyped because then Blaine Gabbert will have to be signed and take us to the fucking promised land. True. All right. The next question. And this one, this one's been. This one was a hot topic of discussion today in the crew chat along with me and you today, Bryce. Yeah. And it's another Colton question. How are we going to shed the weight, Fitz? <laughs> Oh, this was my question. Oh, that was my question. Yeah, yeah that was a Mike question. My bad. Shut up. Sorry, gonna Colton. The way. I'm going to start, you know, like jogging. Dude, I ain't going to do anything. I'm going to start, <laughs> start jogging and maybe drink some water. You know? Take a leisurely stroll. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to be taking a leisurely stroll that's from my fine. fucking desk to my to the bathroom. Bryce, like I said, bro, you need to get shredded. That's what no, I'm saying, dude. dude. Bryce has the body where, like, if he got shredded, he would get shredded. Yeah. Like, look at you, dude. Dude, dude he's got them long arms, dude. He fucking, if he just did some curls, he's fucking gonna get, like, hella biceps, dude. And then you could just walk around in Big Dan's nutrition fucking cutoffs like a badass. Hell yeah, dude. Be a backyard food to go. Dude, that's what oh I'm saying, God. dude. Oh, hell yeah. That's you what... guys wanna be on the squad? Just have a Patrick Mahomes cannon. Dude, yeah, yeah just go dude. out there. Just go out there. Dude, and if like, I was probably ripped, I'd probably be able to throw that fucker a mile. Dude, you know fucking, uh, like, how in the NFL, when they throw it, they just go... Yeah, <laughs> Bryce is just out there just going... <laughs> <laughs> just fucking... <Yeah. laughs> just yeah, throw it out lasers. It's so hard. Fingers be breaking, bro. Dude, yeah. I'm thinking... We ought to we ought to have a uh, instead of a flag football team we should do ultimate frisbee. Arturo, what do you think I about mean, some I ultimate need, frisbee? I think if we're gonna do ultimate frisbee, we need to run to our shot. And oh yeah, do a fast one. That's how we lose the weight, dude. Yeah, that's we, how we, we lose play the fucking weight. Ultimate frisbee. Yeah, when it's when it's in the sun, we run to where we throw our frisbee and throw again. You gotta wear like frisbee. seven jackets too. Seven what? Just what? Hella jackets. Oh yeah, we gotta wear <laughs> fucking garbage sacks. Oh yeah, like seven jackets. <laughs> I can do that. I wear a lot of jackets all the time. I wear sweatshirts every goddamn day. It's because yeah. I have body fucking issues. Yeah, because my body. Because <laughs> I got these the moves. <laughs> yeah, dude, for real. <laughs> I don't like how my body looks. I'm gonna wear a fucking sweatshirt. Yeah, dog. We're dude. literally like we're like fucking Fuck. two teenage bitches right now. I know. It's most, that's me. Dude, that's I've me. always worn a sweatshirt. I feel uncomfortable if I'm not in a sweatshirt. Me too. I feel like it, it's it's secure. Yeah. Arturo, you're the same way. You always be wearing sweatshirts. True. Yeah. Hello. Arturo loves a good fucking sweater. Dude, they're the fit. That's just what it be. Dude, because you always had dope sweaters. <laughs> and dope shoes. Yeah, you always you were always fresh to death. You obviously... True. You dressed the best in the crew. Pound for pound. Hello. Yeah. Always wanted to look fly. Freaking, he was just born to be a G. Now fucking Colton's question. Scott's a good segue to Colton's question. Yeah. Who is the most handsome person in the crew, excluding yourself? We sure do compliment each other a lot. Yeah. We're good. We're a good group of friends. We're a good group of friends, but we also go after each other. It's, it's, going to be a, Colton. it's a good, good balance. I honest, it it's Colton. I mean, if I had to say, I'd say it's Colton. Yeah, I'd say I'd say a clean sweep. Colton, Colton, or, Colton or Barnage. Yep. You know why he asked that question? Because he knew the only answer was Colton. Yeah, Dude, yeah, he, he knew that it would be a fucking clean, clean sweep. sweep. He just wanted to feel better about <laughs> yeah. himself. I'd either say Colton or, or Barn. Barn. Because Barn's, Barn, Barn's yeah. cleaner. Barn's because cute. Barn's yeah, because Barn's cleaner and Cole just got the horse <laughs> If Barn fucking grew out his hair like he used to, 
Now that he's getting fucking in shape, bro. Clay Matthews? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Barnage. Barnage's a bitch, dude. So you're all the way in Oregon, right? And you're in the podcast. Barnage can't even come five minutes yeah, to like my five house. five blocks. I'll, uh, I'd explain why, but I don't want to get you even more demonetized. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Freaking. I don't even remember what I said. But it was hilarious in the group chat. What is, why is Austin not been here? It's because he's just busy, man. Oh, because he's just tired? He's just tired from work and all goddamn day. True. Which, I mean, fair, I guess. You know, I wouldn't like... But, I mean, we can it's pick him up. I mean, what, he's like the only dude there now? Yeah, exactly. He's like a one-man fucking wrecking crew. I don't know, though. Isn't Austin still there? He got fired, I thought. Oh, he probably... Yeah, I thought he did, too. Yeah, I don't know. Barnes a hard working dog. Yeah, he is. He so so hard. we'll we'll be we'll be fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll still have like a three man group. Dude, yeah, you know, Jameson will have a day off one of these Wednesdays. Dude, one day I'm gonna cause like that one time we had the actual crew cast, that was that was insane. We had so right. many fucking people just that talking was nuts. and Lage didn't pitch in anything to the conversation. No, and he's not even subscribed to Tree Talks. For real. Speaking of Lage... Let's talk about how much a s- snake Lage is. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about... not me- being a- subscribed to Tree Talks. Well, obviously the King Snake for not being subscribed to Tree, tree Talks, but fucking... Let's talk about how ass his fantasy team is. Oh, his team is so let's talk. Bad. Let's talk crew fantasy for a minute. I have the best team not even close. Not even Your close. Your team is good, but I feel like I have a chance. Uh, Arturo, how did you feel about your draft? My draft was hella good. Okay, I just want to talk about one thing. Who the fuck drafts three quarterbacks in an eight-man league? Who drafted three quarterbacks? Barnage. Barnage drafted three quarterbacks? Yeah. Yes, and one of them was Jacoby Brissett. Because <laughs> luck might be hurt. Okay, that was, I mean, that's, that, fair. That, that, that's fair. Like, that's, that's, like, sensical, but it's, like, Jacoby Brissett is your fantasy quarterback? But he also, he also has Carson Wentz. Yeah, but he's a starter yeah. or somebody else. I don't even remember. Can we, talk, can we talk about how y'all let me get Aaron Rodgers in, like, the 12th round? Quarterbacks was not a position of like high. Dude, we, none of us were. That was Except for wild. Cameron. Cameron but I mean, his team's below average. Well, it says he's the second best. No, he's the fourth best. Right? No, oh, yeah. Nice and then me. Actually, I think yours is lower now, Arturo. Yours says yours is the fourth and Cameron's is the third. No way, why? I don't know. It like, Did you like pick somebody up or something? My... Nah, dude, I didn't pick any. I haven't changed anything. Huh. Weird. Let's see. I started Chris Carson, that's about it. Oh, that might have been it. Dude. Okay, so let's go team by team. So, Treeb's team. The Canada... Fucking gooses. Had Canadian the Canadian gooses. No, it's Canada. Oh, you just took Canada. Canada fucking gooses. And I drafted Aaron Rodgers, Saquon Barkley, Carry on Johnson, Juju Smith Schuster, Adam Thielen, Travis Kelsey, Stephon Diggs, Chargers defense, Philip Lindsley, Tevin Coleman, Allen Robinson, Dee Dee Westbrook, Vance McDonald, Kyler Murray, Peyton Barber. Y'all motherfuckers. Ain't even coming close to that. I'm gonna fucking not even lose a game in this league. If this is my team. Yeah, no, but I'm gonna laugh when you only win 30 games. Dude, I'm winning the ship. That's I'll for sure. I'll you're in my bracket. I'm gonna spank you. Why is he here? Oh, fuck that, dude. I'm gonna wipe the floor with your bitch ass. Yeah. Wipe the floor. We gotta fucking... I, mean, I like my team, though. I have... Russell Wilson, Le'Veon Bell, Derrick Henry, DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Brown, George Kittle, Marlon Mack, Brown's defense, Greg Zerline, and then I have James White, Tyler Lockett, Austin Eckler, Melvin Gordon's holding out, so he'll get hella reps, Hunter Henry to back up George Kittle, and then Emmanuel Sanders, Christian Kirk, and Derek Carr for A.B. hookup. Fuck Derek Carr. I think you'll have a good year. Your team's still... The whole line's pretty good this year. Not as good as Trebes. 
Get I don't know. The... I think I can catch up to you this year. I think we. I think it would be a toss up because I think James White is underrated. He's always getting catches in a PPR league. He's going to be good. He's the seventh ranked running back last year. Let's see. Arturo has Deshaun Watson, David Johnson. Okay, fucking you. You go in. You talk all that shit about the Cardinals and the Jags, and your two starting running backs are David Johnson and Leonard Fournette. So. Hey, dude, Leonard like Fournette, not a good running back, but he's going to get so many carries. <laughs> he is going to get so Ooh, many. Ladder. You got Mike Evans, Amari Cooper, Evan Ingram, Chris Carson, and the Colt. The Colts defense? All right. I guess eh, that's not bad, actually. Devontae Freeman, Chris Godwin. I like Chris Godwin. That's a good pick. You have oh, a yeah, good... dude. He's stuck. You have a good fucking bench. That's, like, that's what you're good at. You have a really good fucking bench. Dude, I'm so glad Austin drafted fucking Howard. Why? Because he's about the start. Left the door wide open for me to take Miles Sanders. Oh, dude, no shit. I can't believe he wasn't taken before he took fucking Jordan Howard. I know, fucking dumb. I'm gonna, let's see what Barn drafted. Barn has Breezus, Kamara, Howard, Tyreek, T.Y., Zach Ertz, Eric Ebron, Jarvis Landry, Latavius, Carson, Duke, Deshaun, DK Metcalf. His team's pretty good, too, honestly. I mean, like, every team in an eight-man league is going to have a good team. But, like, Barn has a pretty solid team. I would say top to bottom. So we show yeah. Cameron's team now? Yeah, what does fucking Cameron Cameron's have? team has got Patrick Mahomes... Josh Jacobs, Sonny Michelle, Julio Jones, Sammy Watkins, O.J. Howard, A.J. Green, New England defense, Steven Goskowski, and then he's got Ezekiel Elliott on the bench because of holdout. Julian Edelman, Darius Geis, Mike Williams, Marvin Jones Jr., Ryan Anderson, and Royce Freeman. Isn't fucking... I wouldn't even have touched guys. That's what I was saying. Isn't I think he AP's hurt? the starter, bro. Well, yeah, but guys isn't even cleared to play. Yeah, he, he hasn't even been cleared for contact. Yeah, I would not have touched guys. No. I wouldn't have touched Michael Elliott either. Not until, like, a way later round. Well, but, I mean, it was auto-drafted. Yeah, he got auto-drafted in. But then they got Julio mm. on the comeback. So, I mean, that was fucking... That was, like, best-case scenario. Jesus Christ. Fucking everybody wants to talk to Treve when he's doing a goddamn podcast. Phone just... It's like when fucking somebody has a phone. You know one thing I am kind of regretting, though? What? Not taking Christian McCaffrey with a second pick. I can't believe you took David Johnson. I My jaw hit the floor when you took I'm David. I'm betting on it. I'm betting on David. <laughs> That's so wild. You took that bet. You took that risk. Dude, I almost got auto-drafted the first pick, but I would have got Saquon anyway, but I was waiting for Cameron to get his phone ready, and I fucking almost didn't take him. Let's see. Fucking... And then Lage. Lage has the absolute, absolute worst, worst team. Worst okay, team. So, so our, de- our idea for fantasy is to get the person oh, who yeah. gets last baptized. And it'll be live on Dream Talks. Live on Dream Talks. Loser of the Fantasy League gets baptized. Bet. And Lage is going to get fucking yeah, baptized. his team is bad, dude. So he drafted Baker Mayfield in the fourth fucking round. Joe yeah. Mixon, Tariq Cohen, Michael Thomas, and Odell, which... That's that, pretty good. That's good. Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is a starting tight end, guys. Listen to that. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. Toast. He he drafted Kareem Hunt in like the fifth round, and he's like, when he comes back, I'm going to have him. I'm like, like you're going to draft him fucking for an eight-game suspension? Eight whole-ass fucking games? You're going to just fucking just let him sit there? Take up a roster spot? That's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, it's going to be a dogfight for the playoffs because it's literally top two out of a four-person division. Freaking Bryce is just listening to the updates. You guys have the two best teams, though. 
You guys play the most fantasy out of any of us. Yeah, but Bryce sucks at fantasy. Dude, I'm going to win, win the crew league. Dude, not, no, you're not. You're going to be I'm talking winning, mad I'm, hash. I'm going four for four. Easy uh, peasy. I'm going to win every single league I'm in. Everyone. Sweep. Game over. And when I win Big Pete's, that's going to be the most satisfying one. Because I was like, finally, I fucking won. Been in this league since 2011, haven't won I've since won 2012. One. I haven't won one since 2012. Shoot your Michael Finley <laughs> in the Packers offense. <laughs> That's such... So classic. Jordy Nelson, Six Randall, person Randall, league. Randall Cobb, James Jones, freaking... Your Michael Finley. Your Michael Finley, Mason Crosby, and Aaron Rodgers, baby. That's how you win the league <laughs> back in the day, brother. <laughs> That's how it was in six-man leagues. You just drafted one whole ass oh, yeah, team. Alright, so I think... What about my dude? Andrew Luck and T.Y. Hilton and Luck had his worst fucking year ever. Dude, yeah. The one year I fucking drafted Jay Cutler, Alshon Jeffrey, Jordan Howard and fucking uh, Brandon Marshall and it didn't work out at all. That was the team I bet on. I bet on Jay fucking Cutler. Wow. Bryce, as we speak, Fitz makes a big fucking transaction in the crew league. He, he just picked... He just picked up off a of free agency, Adrian Peterson. God damn it. Were you freaking looking at him? I know you were looking for him. He's like, fuck me. Yeah, fuck me. Dude, I drop, I drop Derek Carr. Good, yeah, <laughs> fuck Derek Carr. Dude, I can believe Lamar Jackson's still available. Dude, that's wild. I think I should. I thought. I thought Leighton would draft him. I thought he'd sell out. I can't believe he didn't draft right? him. Right. I took Kyler Murray over Lamar. Which well, is... yeah, because I think he's gonna rush a lot too. Well, so is Lamar. Yeah. They're it's both gonna... gonna be hella rushing. It's gonna be weird. For sure. Sean Watson's gonna be hella rushing. Sean Watson's gonna get exposed this year Sean about Watson being a for below Russ. average. Straight across. Fuck no. I don't want Russ. Do you want Derrick Henry? No. No? Fucking good on running backs, boy. Boy. Okay. I like my fucking team. I can't wait till we get into the season and you guys will come call it because I'll be rolling. I don't need nothing. I don't want to draft Seattle players because I don't want to watch a Seahawks game fucking being pissed off. That's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't draft any Cardinals players so I just don't have to worry about it. Because this league's going to get competitive, I feel like. I'm not starting any Cardinals players, and I'm going to have freaking... I will veto all bullshit trades. Adrian Peterson's going to go off this year. <laughs> For... Wow, you're a jamming. Dude, fucking, I'm going to fucking block and ban everybody. If I see one kicker for fucking, like, Robert Woods or something stupid like that, yeah. I'm vetoing it. James, what if I really no need a crap. kicker? Oh, that's true. If you really need a kicker, then there might be a... That might be valid. Good point. <laughs> Good fucking point. All right. So to oh, close the fucking episode... kickers out there, dude. I know. It was a joke. True. Fucking... Treb's not funny. Okay, what about the Hunger Games question? Well, that's what I was going to say. Closing out the podcast. Closing out the podcast with the Hunger Games question. And we're going to... I'm. We're going to rank them. So... The question is, if everybody in the crew was in a death match, like Hunger Games style, who would finish first and who would finish last? But I think we should go from last to second to last all the way to first. Yeah. So, okay. So, let's see. Let me count it through. So, yeah. Is this live? Yeah. No, no, no. It's not live. We're just, we're recording. We're just recording for okay. Were you on YouTube and you're like, it's not live? Oh, Arturo's all freaking out. He's like, dude, we're not we're even live. live. <laughs> it's like, how am I going to get in my exposure, man? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're freaking, you're trying to get some subscribers. Fucking you and Bryce are both trying to start your own shit. Yeah, we're just leeching off your success. <laughs> yeah. People ain't the same no more. <laughs>
Once we saw that first YouTube paycheck, we're like, damn, I need one. Yeah, <laughs> the... like, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> These are real. Oh, this is real. <laughs> That's a real $40 check right there, Doc. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to list everybody out in the crew. Me, Arturo, Fitz, Mike, Josh, Colge, Barn, Jameson. Am I missing anybody? I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. How oh, Cameron. Know. So that's, wait, so wait, nine. that's nine. Oh, and Lage. That's ten. So we have ten people. Okay, finishing in tenth place for me is Layton. Layton's finishing last. Actually, he's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, Actually, no. I think Josh is going to make it far. <laughs> Layton is fast. Okay, I'm going to go with Jameson first. What else? Yeah, yeah I was going to say Jameson would be the first one out. Jam I think Jameson's the one because just because, like, He's, you think he would know what he was doing out there, but he really doesn't. Know but he has no clue. Out there. Exactly. No fucking clue. Dude, his are like out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Survival instincts are out of five. Yeah. SMH. So Jameson in last. So yeah. who's in ninth? Probably I. Probably me. I'd I'd say probably. I I I'd be fine with second to last as long as I'm not last. I'd say me or Arturo. Either way, you can flip that. I think me or Arturo go 9-8. What do you think, Arturge? I don't know. I don't think I'm surviving too long in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so me and me and Arturo go 9-8. We're just talking Hunger Games situation. Which I don't know. Actually, you know what? We have to kill each other. Huh? Oh, survival. Oh, yeah, I'm putting up Bryson number one. Are you kidding me, dude? His fucking knees are gonna give out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna put. We're gonna put fucking um. We're gonna put Fitz. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna put me and Arturo at eight and nine. I mean, yeah, eight and nine. Yeah. So, who would be seven? Seven. Okay, so who's left after you? Seven. So we got Jameson, you, or Arturo. I'm saying Barnage died here. So we got Barnage left. Josh. Josh, Mike. Colton. Colton Mike, you. You. Me. Barnage's <laughs> gonna go next, bro. And, uh, He's a big target. Lage. And He's Lage. a big baby. Lage is sixth. Or is seventh. You think? Yeah, dude. I think Barn is seventh. No, I think Barnage could Dude, last. I think Layton could survive just running alone, dude. Barnage is not going to survive longer than me. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Actually, I really don't I think so. I would him down and Arturo kill is a savage, dude. <laughs> dude, that's true, Arturo. That is a... We might okay, have to so bump I Arturo think it's, I think it's actually... Last would be Jameson. Second to last would be you, Treeb. Yeah. And then the third would be Barnage. And then fourth, dude, Barnage and Arturo would get into a fucking crazy. Fourth death to match. last would be would be late. Yeah, Cameron, I think. Ooh, I'm thinking Cameron. Dude, so Leighton, I think, could survive like just running. Well, and... you can't just run, dude. You just be I'm putting him in the top. I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting him in the top five for speed alone. Cameron can catch him. Fine, we can put Leighton at six. Yeah. Cameron's... So, wait, I'm still... Oh, yeah, you're still... Wow. <laughs> wait, don't we'll put Bryce at six. Dude, I think our turn would be a savage, though. Well... So, there's ten spots. Yeah. So, at six, I think... Yeah. You. No, I think Lage. Dude, I think it'd be you or fucking Cameron. I think Cameron. I could be a savage. You think? Who do you think? Okay, let's make it easier. Who would be top three? Mike. Josh. Probably cold. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. that's probably the clean, clean sweep. Uh, let's see. I'll play devil's advocate and say three more people. I'd say Colton, Josh. Who would I put in that last spot? I'd put Arturo because I'm gonna say Arturo just Arturo goes on. Arturo goes on a mean streak. <laughs> he makes it to the final three. Arturo, you would win. I All I'm saying win. is that if we had a Hunger Games, I'm not letting Barnage or Jameson live longer than me. <laughs> Jameson would be 
last. Most dead last. He's not meant for out there. And neither am I, but I'm going to survive longer I'll than Jameson. I'll survive, yeah, I'll survive a decent amount. I just want to outlive Jameson. Or who, I just don't want to die first. True. That's, that's all I... True. Arturo, who's your top three? Fuck, I, I have no idea, bro. Gotta say something. Yeah, put three. Alright, I'd definitely say Colton. I think Colton's survivability is definitely at a 99 while we're all at 50s. Yeah. Yeah, with some lower than 50. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, you know what? I'm just doing one, because it's definitely just going to be cold. Because, I mean... I don't know. I think Josh would die out there. Game, dude. I think Josh wins. I think Josh wins. I think Josh... Josh is done. Dude, dude Josh but Colton, Colton, Colton will be at the oh. end. I think Colton's my third, because Josh and Mike's just, like... I think Colton could handle Mike, like... Man to man, without no, without no gun, you know type <laughs> shit. Like, cause like there's def, cause if there's guns involved in this, dude, like Leighton, me me saying Leighton's well, fast I mean, don't mean shit. In the Hunger shit. Games, they had bows and shit, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking shoot Leighton with a fucking bow. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Unleash one. Dude, I got well, experience with a bow. Dude, I I tried doing a bow when I, we went to fucking Camp Whitman. I didn't understand a sh. I didn't understand. I did. I shot a bows up when we went up to that like one little campground spot up there. I used to have a long bow, so I'd be pretty decent. Oh yeah, I want to see you pick up a long bow. I want to see you fucking. Oh, bro, easy. no cap, easy. No cap. Bullseye. Bullseye. I'd say you maybe hit the target. I don't think you uh, the time I come into town, we're getting a longbow. <laughs> we're, we're getting a longbow, okay, yeah. Bar. We're getting a we're fucking longbow. We're putting a longbow on Barge's forehead, and I'm gonna <laughs> shoot it at him. That's hilarious. <laughs> Literally jackass style, dude. <laughs> Alright, boys, I think that will wrap up Crewcast episode 11. 31 minute conversation with Arturo, and I think it was like 10 minutes before that. Uh, so, yeah. so, a good 40 minute podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe. Also, I post six videos a week. I work hard. And um, you can like all my links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Dream Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Fitz, you got anything to plug? Yeah, well. You can uh, subscribe to Fitz Frenzy Eleven on YouTube. Hey, I'm gonna start putting up some stuff here in a little channel? bit. Yeah, dude, he's fucking going to work, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna put up some YouTube videos here eventually. We're gonna get some stuff going for the Cardinals football season and everything. Yeah, I thought I was joking about us leeching, but Bryce, you're fucking for real. I'm like, I'm gonna try, dude. Fuck, he could, he could definitely get some subs. He's a fan. Fa- He's probably the new fan favorite because Col- Col- Colton turned heel. Colton turned heel. Maybe Arturo's the new fan favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Arturo, I don't even think you have anything. You don't have an Instagram or a Twitter to plug, do you? No, I don't use social media. I like to keep my head clean. Shut, pure. shut the fuck up! He's I trying hate to you. stay away from. No. <laughs> I'm never I'm never fucking having you on the podcast again after saying that. True. <laughs> Keep my mind pure. That's the most organ thing you've ever said. Well, after being a year here, you know, you start to live it. <laughs> you start <laughs> to live it. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Crew Cast. You guys have. Question. What's up? Whoever, I, who, who do you, how many people do you think actually watch this whole thing through? Not a lot. The average viewer, dur- the average viewer, du- viewer duration is probably like four minutes, thirty six seconds. Dude, if you if you watch this whole thing, leave a comment saying Austin sucks balls. Dude, there's gonna be some. There's always one or two. So. Leave a couple comments saying Austin sucks balls in the chat. Austin sucks balls on three. One, two, three. Austin, Austin sucks, sucks balls. balls.